We want to ask CS Keriako Tobiko to spare the country of his hubris, arrogance and foolishness. Excuse my language, but how else would you describe a man who is engaged in the kind of charade that Tobiko is engaged in? Conning the entire country that he is conserving the environment, yet all he is up to is ethnic profiling. A fraudster of unimagined proportions. In fact, I owe fraudsters an apology for comparing to a man worse than them. I need to find a more befitting title, but first let us deal with the issues at hand and unpack the lies that Tobiko is selling to the country. First and foremost, CS Tobiko claims that the title deeds in the hands of the innocent Kenyans living in the Maasai Mau Trust Land are nothing but paper. What a spineless moron. If CS Kobiko was keen on finding out the truth about these title deeds, he would have simply walked or called his colleague at the land ministry and established the validity of these title deeds and allotment letters that these Kenyans have. He would have known by now that the same government that he serves in is in court trying to cancel those title deeds. If they were fake, as he claims that they are, then what is government doing in court trying to cancel a fake title deed? The truth of the matter is that these are genuine title deeds given by none other than the government of Kenya and CS Kariako Tobiko is lying to the country when he claims that they are fake. Secondly, CS Tobiko needs to remember that this same Jubilee administration has given out millions of title deeds the last few years to Kenyans in different parts of the country, people who have long held allotment letters for 30 up to 40 years. And now that government has recognized that it is proper for them to be given a title deed, he has pro uh, it has proceeded and issued them with copies of their title. Therefore, you cannot just show up out of the blues as a cabinet minister and declare that whatever any Kenyan is holding is illegal. There is a process as to how you arrive at it. Secondly, is CS Tobiko acting as Minister for Environment in this, his voodoo conservation experiment? Absolutely no. If he is, I challenge CS Tobiko to table the cabinet approvals, including copies of cabinet minutes, where this Mao issue has been canvassed in cabinet and cabinet reach a decision that it is proper for these people to be brutally kicked and left in the cold. I challenge CS Tobiko to present before this country any document that confirms that the exercise he is uh, the exercise is carrying out is a joint government decision that has been discussed at the highest decision uh, making body of the executive. I can assure you there is none. Previously, as you may be aware, in previous years there is the Olentutu Commission in 2009. There was a Hassan uh, Nur Commission that was formed to check into the issues that were going on in the Mao. And in all those commissions, they were cabinet decisions and memos giving directions as to how the exercise was going to be carried out. I dare challenge you, ask Tobiko to produce any of such directive orders. Let, them show, let him show the country so that we know whose orders he is implementing. Thirdly, Tobiko claims that his interest is nothing but conservation of the Mau Water Tower. Well, that's a fair point. But his question should be, his logic should be put to a proper test and establish whether there is any trace of good credentials of a conservationist in the man that is Keriako Tobiko. Kenya has five major water towers. Each and every one of them has its own unique challenges. You know about the fire incidents in the Abadeas, what is happening in Cherangaji Hills. The question that Tobiko needs to tell the country is what he has done individually or as a ministry in each of the water towers in our country. I can assure you there is not a single shrub that his ministry has planted in any of the water towers just as a proof to show that he is conserving the environment. Environmental conservation 
is an empirical and methodical process. It's not just about showing up in press conference in nice air conditioned office and addressing people saying, oh, I'm a champion of the environment as Tobiko is prone to doing. It's a proper process. He needs to show us what has CS Tobiko done about each of the five water towers that can convince us that in each and every one of them, there is surely something that he's doing. And in fact, a time has come for us as a country to have a proper discussion about what we need to do with our water towers. Because if we continue playing the kind of politics, you remember what happened with the Ntutu Commission, what happened with the Hassan, Hassan Nur uh, Commission, where because of these adventures like the one that are being carried by uh, Tobiko, we ended up with no conclusive decision on what needs to be done to conserve our environment. In fact, last year, they evicted people from Mao Forest. You need to go back. Go back with your cameras. Just look if anything has been done on those areas where they evicted people. Or is it the logic of Tobiko that once you evict people, you now have gained the, the, the needed forest cover? I thought there is a process to it. He needs to plant trees. He needs to secure the forest. But he is doing nothing of that. Because in our assessment, CS Tobiko is engaging in a political experiment. Nothing to do with the environment. And I have given you reasons to, uh, to confirm that.